We're on Lake Erie at Minky Marina, which is known as the walleye capital of the world. Well, I've grown up here. I've lived on this lake my whole life. I commercial fished as a young man, and I just like to keep the waterways clean. Today, we're after a sunken sailboat that has been abandoned and sitting in a dock for three years. Generally, when, we, when a boat sinks, we go out on scene right away, evaluate the situation, see if it's something we can do immediately or have to bring more heavier gear in and divers and things like that. We're heading over to the Ottawa River to remove the derelict sailboat that has been sunk for about three years and abandoned. I've actually been working on this lake since I've been about 10 years old. My dad used to be a commercial fisherman and I would tow his barges and that was my first towing experience as a young child. The health of the water is important to us because not just myself but a lot of people, my whole family makes their living off the water and a lot of charter boats and you know everybody associated, the restaurants, the fish cleaners, everybody, you know it's important that we keep our fishery healthy here. My name is Jason Albanese, investigator with Ohio Department of Natural Resources, Division of Parks and Watercraft. When I got involved in this project, Bern Minky had talked to me about a boat on the Ottawa River that had been sunk and asked me to look into it and see what I could come up with. I researched the boat, found out who the last owner was, and did a process called the Abandoned Boat Process, where I send a letter, um, they have so long to respond, and then they get back to me. If they don't get back to me, then I can give firm possession of the boat, or if they get back to me, I have to order them to get the boat out. With being involved in a project like this, uh, it brings a lot of agencies together so that you can actually work together. I started off um, doing my process with the abandoned boat process, then Vern gets involved with pulling the boat and applying for the grants to, to get the boat pulled, um, otherwise the boat would sit there and become an eyesore and, and other boats could possibly potentially hit it if it would float away from the dock. My name is Sarah Lowe, I'm the Great Lakes Regional Coordinator for the NOAA Marine Debris Program. The NOAA Marine Debris Program uh, funded this project to remove this abandoned derelict vessel and remove some other um, debris out off the coast of Ocean City, Maryland. Marine debris is a problem in the Great Lakes because it impacts habitats. Um, this boat in particular may be impacting a lot of benthic or bottom habitats here that it's sitting on. Um, marine debris also is an eyesore, so a lot of folks don't want to go to a dirty beach. So we have things like litter items that will litter beaches and folks don't want to um, journey to those beaches to visit them. Larger marine debris issues are handled through um, establishing partnerships. So not one individual agency can do it alone. We do rely a lot on our partners and a lot on the community as well. So we have to learn about the issue first and then also enlist those people that are best able to tackle it. The grants we give out at NOAA help our partners to tackle critical marine debris issues. So without funding, a lot of the removal efforts that happen um, wouldn't happen otherwise. Uh, funding is a key part to get the work done.